The truest expression of love is giving someone a cool rock you found. POV, you're a penguin. Hey, if punching someone is called a knuckle sandwich, then hitting someone with your knees should be called a knees burger. Okay, thank you for your time. Would you like a knees burger? Looking at which characters is funny because there's pretty young people and then there's creatures. Hey, it, it's your boyfriend. Yeah, they, they keep doing things to me. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in a lot of pain at every hour of the day. Yeah, please, please help. Yeah, you better get back here. You know those characters that dress up in huge and terrifying suits of armor, but in reality are just little small beings that look deceptively harmless until you point out how tiny they are, and then they proceed to annihilate you with a sword as big as their armor? Yeah, that, that's a vibe. Those are good characters. I like those. There needs to be a word for when you're starving, but also would rather die than eat any of the food in your kitchen. Chad GBT invented that word, snub grumblies, meaning you're grumbly, but too snub to eat any food you're not interested in. <sighs> Why did it have to be Chad GBT though? The image of myself in my head has become so skewed to the point where this is just what I look like in my head. Like, what do you mean? I'm not a small little silly fellow. I want to be a little cat surrounded by the horror floor. Wow, this is like too intimate to share with my close friends or family. Let me just put this on my Tumblr blog for hundreds of strangers to see. The human brain literally needs to color green, grass and leaves to like self-calibrate and not go insane. I sincerely believe this. So what you're saying is, is we need more green characters in our lives, right? Is that what, is that what you're saying? If you're not obsessed with anything weird and niche, oh, please try harder. Stop going outside for a while. Consider getting weirder about the things you already like. Dog motive. I have a loophole for you. What if they're obsessed about going outside? Ugh, why would you know that? I am curious about the world around me. I googled best cat in the internet. Do what you want with this information. You look like a little cartoon character. I love him. Just know if I could crawl on the ceiling on all fours, I would. Marvel's dedication to betraying J. Jonah Jameson as a complex three-dimensional character with likable traits and sympathetic qualities is really funny. because <laughs> It's led to the creation of a character who failingly stands for the truth and integrity in journalism, except for this one specific dude he is absolutely convinced is putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. I thought by now my desire to have a sword would have gone away. Apparently not. The desire for a sword never goes away. I have two. I still have a desire for swords. Me, a clueless cowboy. Yeehaw. Oh my god, stop. A writing prompt. You throw your rent bill across the room in frustration and it lands under your bed. A few seconds later, a claw pushes the bill back out with a wad of cash. Monster under the bed finally banks fucking rent. Probably bad RPG idea. Evil halflings. There's just something afoot with them. <sighs> Jeff took over the account. Sure, he's a walking, talking curse to humanity, but I like to look at his boobs. Ever thought about that? Being a good artist isn't about having artistic talent. It's about practice and having the willpower of a roach that has been smacked 20 times on the rolled up magazine and yet still refuses to die. Girl, I've got a million questions, but all of them are lame ass questions. So I will be asking you none of them. Have a good day. Bye.